so here is the Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030 the low profile and just to show you the box it comes in a very small box um, you know it's only 300 by 21 so 30 by 21 and the height is also small it's less than six centimeters it's measuring five centimeters so you just open it up and there's the card so really it's uh, just a lot of nothing nothingness here this is just uh, packaging there's the card itself and just to show you what else you're getting you're getting the low profile um, plate there face plate and there's the driver so put the card over there. Okay, so there are the drivers, the card itself, just remember anti-static here, don't be on a carpet the floor when you do handle the card itself. Right, there's the card, it's really small, this is a low profile, just give you an idea of the dimensions. If you're looking from the, uh, say where your uh, card will actually slot in, it is literally 15.5 centimeters. So if you are really pressed for space, if you've got 15, 15 and a half centimeters, you're fine. And in terms of the thickness, you can see it's literally less than the actual faceplate itself. The actual thickness here uh, is, but keep in mind there are some, you do need to account for uh, the, uh, the chips, I mean the, electronics on that side so if you've got about 18 mils you're fine 1.8 centimeters now there is the hdmi and here is the dvi and that's it there's the card got a little fan here and you can unplug the fan with that i wouldn't recommend that and that you can just take that off and now i'm going to install it Now, in my case, I want the low profile option, so I'm just going to remove the fastening screw here. put the low profile plate on screw that in right there we go so now I'm going to install it in the little computer that I have, the Inwin BP671 little mini ITX box. All right, so without further ado, I'm just going to uh, install it quickly. You will need to loosen two screws, one, two. I've just loosened them and you'll take off the box cover. Now, here is where the card is going to sit. You don't have much space there. So we'll need to open up the additional slot here. There we go. And release this spacer or dummy slot there. And now we can just move these uh, SATA cables away. We don't want them running this direction. So we're going to have to completely reroute them. And another one over here. Right, now the little GT1030 graphic card, really small. As you can see, it is less than 16 centimeters, 15.5 centimeters in your all-in. And the width, as you can see, it is literally just the width of the uh, face plate. Close this up here. Check 
that it's in. Yes. And remember to uh, seat the side correctly and just close up the back. Right, so that is the installation of a low profile graphics card in the Inwin BP670 model. Right, now once you've installed the standalone card, you'll have to go and get the drivers. Right, so you just choose the drivers. And then you'll download it. Okay, just quickly running through these specs so this is coming to the end of the video. This is the GT1030 low profile. It's got two gigs of onboard uh, memory and you can see that this is the clock speed. You've got uh, two gigs, GDDR, GDDR5, 64 bit and it only has DVI and HDMI. It says it can do 4K. Well, actually it can do 496 by 2160. You can run two monitors at the same time, and it does say 300 watts recommended power supply, but I will tell you that uh, when I did further investigations, it's saying that it actually consumes 30 watts. Now, uh, you might be wondering why I went for that card, because on board on my little home theater, my home PC, uh, what do you call it, uh, media player PC, I was, it has the 4600 graphics built into the i5 chip, and I found that a, it's obviously uh, quite an old graphics processor, and the computer kept locking up, and it can't play 4K, really battling well it it sort of can it can play 4k but it won't play it through cody because cody is a little bit resource hungry and it's unstable so i wanted to uh, move the uh, graphics processing off the cpu and onto a standalone card i have a video on that i also got a video showing the resources and how much uh, it's improved once i went to a standalone card all right so just having a look at further specs uh you can just see that the uh, clock speed the uh, it's quite a lot more than the intel although the video isn't about a comparison between the intel and the nvidia so that brings me to the end of the video just showing you some of the specs for this card I, I like the low profile because it fits in the itx and if you are looking at uh, uh, if you're in the position that i was where i had to decide do you buy a new computer in order to get a better graphics or do you just buy a standalone graphics card well i can just recommend that if it is an i5 the i5 is still a good chip and if you're using it just for tv and viewing like that well then it's fine just go for the standalone graphics card and uh, so far the nvidia card is got, got uh, is really stable and it's quiet i did measure it with an spl meter and i cannot hear that card above the um, dbs of the system fan for that little in-win box so what i'm saying is that you don't hear that little fan on the on the graphics card so overall i'm satisfied the card uh, is doing its job all right so thanks for watching 